Hi, in the last video lesson, we created our custom error ender and uh, we call it here in the middleware. Okay, so in this video lesson, we're gonna create our custom response. So, without wasting time, let's begin. So, now in our code editor, so I'm gonna create a new folder, okay. Because I'm gonna put, uh, I mean, uh, the our custom uh, error response. So in a folder, and let's call it utils. Okay, lowercase utils. Okay, inside utils, I'm gonna create a new file called, I mean, error. Okay, error response. Okay, dot js. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna call, I mean the our class so just before begin i'm going to show you in the documentation so so that you can see so here you see i mean errors and you see the class error so when we say no error and we have the message in it so also we have the error stack uh, uh, trace limit error code error that message okay here our stack etc so if you could take a look in the documentation okay to understand better but we're gonna customize i mean uh, the error class okay and now let's go back in our code editor okay so and now so let's create a class class uh, error response okay extends okay the error class that i showed you okay so so the class has a constructor what is a constructor a constructor is a, a method that runs when we instantiate an object okay and it has a message okay and we want to pass um, a status code okay like so so to one this constructor we want to call super and super as it own message okay like so and we're gonna create a no property okay this that status code status code equal status code okay so like so and uh, at least we're gonna export this module so that we can use it modules oops that exports okay equal the our response okay like so and we save and each time we want to call we want to have custom response we want to call this our response okay so now in our i mean our handler okay middleware so we're gonna make I mean this status uh, dynamic okay and to do this let's move it and uh, we're gonna call I mean this error okay air that our status code okay uh, our custom status code and if for some reason so we don't find it now we wanna I mean call I mean 500 okay and uh, the same if we don't have a message so we're gonna i mean output i mean server error like so okay so and now um let's save it and uh, we're gonna call it so in our controller Okay, so and now so we're gonna use it in I mean uh, the user controller. Okay, the last time you see so we have next hour, but uh, if we go to postman, so we're gonna have the same result. Why? Okay, let's give it a try. So we have the same result and we have the status of uh, 500. Why? It's because we don't use yet. So and now let's go back uh, I mean to our controller so we're gonna use I mean our custom I mean uh, error response so here okay cons uh, error I mean 
response like so equal require i mean uh, okay so we're gonna go one step up okay like so it is locally located in utils okay and uh, okay this is the folder utils and uh, we're gonna call this one okay okay so and now i'm gonna use this one okay this error response so you see here the last time instead of i mean call this error so we're gonna have new i mean uh, error response okay so we already know error response has i mean uh, two parameter first of all it has the message so if you want we can use uh, here template string okay so we can say um, um user with uh, i mean uh, id uh, let's say okay um, to output the id so we're gonna use this request that params that id okay user with id this id is not found okay so if uh, and after that we wanna output i mean the uh, for status okay like so and now let's say so let's go back to give a try so in our postman okay so and now with the same request so okay let's give a try okay so here so as you can see we have the custom response okay success false user with id this is the id of the user okay we can we could add a colon after this with id this blah 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 it's not found okay so we have successfully output i mean uh, the response and now and so let's go back so here for example um so each time we want to use i mean uh, let's i mean let's copy this one okay um we're gonna output custom response here we're gonna have i'm gonna get rid of this so i'm gonna add um, my custom response so um this message okay check i mean uh, the credentials let me um now we don't uh we don't want to use i mean i mean template string template string and now let's return i mean the 400 okay that request okay like so and uh we can get rid of this okay so uh, and after that copy this one okay so um if uh i mean the password is not match okay so we can also return our custom response so success false and invalid credentials okay this is the response we're gonna send okay invalid credentials okay and the status is found okay and we can we can get rid of this okay and after that um a copy okay so if not find um the user email in the database okay so invalid credentials so we can also oh i should return okay oops return okay and um okay that's it so, so here so i'm gonna return return okay like so and also here in valley credentials okay the same okay and uh, 400 okay and here we can get rid of this okay so okay what else and this one uh, oh 
Oops. So let's copy here. And uh, okay, like like so. And uh, I'm gonna send this custom message. Okay. So here, email. Email and password are required. And this is status is for for Android. Okay. We okay. We can get rid of this. Okay, so as you can see, um, this this let me copy the last one. Okay, here. Um, okay, what a message here. Okay, email already exists, so let's return. Okay, I already have the return in the. Uh, okay so here okay for Android and here so let's get rid of this okay so as you can see we will make it more cleaner okay so we have our custom response okay and here we can add column okay and save so uh, that's it guys for this lesson I don't wanna, I don't want to make it too long so I mean if you like this video so please leave the thumbs up so um and don't forget to share um uh, this tutorial with others and each time you like this video so youtube um i mean gonna suggest this video to others and um so that we can go together so um from now thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial